What's up, peoples? How's everyone doing? I was watching some of Chiron last, uh... Og sent me a link and it was one of his videos. I hadn't been aware of him, but he has really good stuff. He's, uh, he's gone very deep into etymologies and word origins, and he connects a lot of, uh, pieces. He connects a lot of dots when he's, uh, explaining the words and how they're used. So I find his channel quite interesting. I'll leave a link for Chiron's, uh, channel. This is kind of a shout-out, I guess. But, uh... <clears throat> He got me thinking on the idea of problem solution and the idea of paradoxes. When he explains something, he's always using, he's always explaining via duality because this place is duality. So he's saying within every problem is a solution and within every solution is a problem. They're both created at the same time. Um, and the same thing with paradox. The realm is full of paradox. It's chock full of paradox. It's full of things that logically don't really make sense. But if you dig deeper, then they always, the paradox always resolves itself. It's only superficially uh, paradoxical or hard to understand. But if you do your research and if you, you just observe your own mind, observe the workings of your own mind, the mind itself is nearly entirely paradoxical. And it has to be because of the nature of the realm because I'm getting all these requests. I should probably accept one of them. But the resolution of paradoxes is simple and it's observation. It's just observation. It's always observation the problems and the solutions exist in your mind and uh, huh, I'm now offline your whole life exists in your mind every idea that you have every thought structure all planning for the future all thoughts of the past the present moment is so small or so intangible so impossible to grasp that and mind can't really play there and mind likes to play mind loves creating problems and finding solutions and going on adventures and things like that so if you're meditating or if you're trying to be in a contemplative mood if you're trying to observe and you can't try to observe it's because it's just a releasing of all the mind stuff it's a that's the thing that you can't talk about, you can't words it, you can't explain it, you can't explain how to do it. And you could say that it's happening all the time regardless of whether you're projecting into the future or in the past. But you do have an ability to remember, and it's an act of remembrance in, at all moments. And it's especially helpful, uh, beneficial to you to practice that as to strengthen that muscle, that muscle memory of the present because no matter which, what you're doing, no matter what's going on around you, mind always wants to project, but it can be trained to allow the witnessing and not be projecting so much. That's the, the muscle memory training that you can do for yourself. It's not your it's not for your mind. It's not training for the mind. It's training for yourself. It is training for the mind, but it's the the ob objective of it is that 
you can remain present more often. Because when you're present, there literally exist no problems. There's no no things, there's no concepts. There's no theories. There's just presence, there's awareness, and there's what's going on around you, which you don't always have to storify. You don't always have to put a story on it, because once we put the story on it, that's where the problems come in, because then we have, oh, I want this, I want that, I want my life to be this, I want that. That's when the wants come around, and that's just like the Buddha said, you know, the desire is the root of all suffering. It's the desire for something that you have that is not in your present moment. So then you must project out to something else that you think will fulfill you, and it won't fulfill you. All pleasures, all desires, all that stuff, all, all ephemeral, all that stuff is the dust to dust. None of that lasts, and you're better off without it. I'm better off without it. At the base base of everything, there's just witnessing. Like Muji says, there's the witness behind the witness. There's whatever that awareness is, that's the very back. Behind and underneath, and it overlays everything. It underlies everything. It's in everything, and it's not in anything. It's completely paradoxical for the mind to comprehend it. Because the mind wants to objectify everything. But you can you can't see it with mind. You can see mind... But you can't see, you can't see the observer with the mind. The observer is that which sees everything. It's that which, it's not even a seeing, it's just a, an awareness of. It's all these words that are trying to explain what it is that's going on here. And they do a poor job of it. But everyone who's aware and ha who has a consciousness, everyone who has a soul, who has a heart, who has love, compassion in them, that's what they are at their base, at their core, is they are that observer. That observer is that which sees everything, it sees the whole histories of all people, it sees all actions, it sees all problems, sees all resolutions, sees all gods, all devils, all theories, and it's untouched by anything. Not one thing has ever touched it, never will. And it can't be seen because it is that which sees. It's like a black hole or something. And you become uh, especially aware of this when you do some hallucinogenics or... Like for me it was weed, but... And that's why I kind of stay away from that because I know where it's going to lead me. And I know that there's beauty beyond the initial uh, panic attack of the mind, but I'm not a fan of the panic attack of the mind. So therefore, I'm not interested in doing that right now. Because we're fine. We're totally fine. Always. If you remain as witness, there, there can be no problems. Only the mind creates problems. I'm trying, trying to walk some dogs. See if I can get on this dog walking app and diversify the income a bit. Uh get some good energy from the happy dogs and it will get me off my butt I sit in this car for way too long so um, hopefully that will happen and ordered the computer so it's first, the first time I've ever ordered a brand new Mac I got the I don't even know what I got it was a MacBook Air I think but this, uh, the faster speed one, one was like 1.8 gigahertz, one was 2.2. So I got a 2.2, has like 125 gigabytes of space, and it's the newest model, so I'm excited about that. I'll be able to edit videos. I'll be able to do my chess channel properly, because with my shitty computer, I haven't been able to do it. I've been using my sister's Mac, so that should be good. We're still looking for a place. I don't know exactly when that's going to happen, but... I feel some changes coming for me. So, uh, yeah. Hope everybody's doing well. Remain as witness and there are no problems. But, you know, it's maybe you lack the mind in all its problems. It's drama. Nothing wrong with it. 
you can do both, right? Okay, bye.